Youth Runner here uh, with the Crystal Springs Uplands uh, standouts, and it's so awesome to welcome back the two-time Division Five state champions uh, to a place that they know very well, and I've added some incredible memories at Woodward Park. Tarek Baker on my left, uh, Ben Bowie on uh, on my right. Uh, Really, just uh, showing uh, a lot of uh, a lot of class and a lot of uh, a lot of teamwork uh, going across the line. 15-44-9, 15-45-1, but obviously just working together, challenging each other in a really uh, meaningful and really mature way the entire time. Tarek, uh, with, w without you know letting the trade secrets out, like just you know, you know on October 18th, what are you in the group? you know, uh, trying to accomplish. I mean, obviously, you you know this terrain so well. The conditions were very favorable, which isn't always uh, the case. Uh, but just what, what are you and the group trying to get out of a race uh, like today at Rough Rider? Definitely a win, number one. Two, to grow. Like, I mean, we use all of these races as kind of like our pavement road to where we want to be. And I know every one of us came out here. We did our best. We shined out there. We have quite a few new runners as well as returners that did tremendously well a lot of PRs out there so just coming out doing our best growing as we do learning from our mistakes and bringing the team along with us that balance of like when we have the two of you and Ollie like that you know know what it means to see a white tent over there and yep. be standing under it and yep. be announced as the state champions but then like you said other guys that are going to be so valuable and so instrumental to what the team does Lord willing health providing on, uh, on November 30th uh, like what, how do you guys as veterans and leaders strike the, uh, strike that balance uh, uh, for the group because there's some that are seeing it for the first time you know and uh, and, uh, and others like like the, the two of you and Ollie that are veterans for sure setting that example like I mean we come out we run incredibly fast we run together we run strong like I mean even in practices we're always there for each other and so setting that as the expectation is what is paving the road for our team <laughs> awesome Ben, just in terms of uh, also, not only for you guys as veterans, but especially for the newcomers, like understanding that it is only October, th uh, you know, yeah. 18th. Like yeah. uh, the name of the game is, you know, get, you know getting ready uh, to make sure everybody's healthy and locked right. in by a league, yeah. certainly then section and, and state. How would you kind of assess just how patient this group, uh, you know, is and, and has continued to be, you yeah. know, from August and September and so far in October? Yeah, I mean, we're not really, um here to worry about what we do in, in September and October as much as we worry about what happens in November. Because um, that's always been the goal for us. We, um, we like to you know, compete when it matters. Um, but that doesn't mean that you can't compete you know, all the rest of the time, right? Um, and so it's about striking a balance between uh, setting the end goal, you know, going through the season with the end goal in mind, but also being able to compete and saying that, you know, just because it's not, you know, the state meet doesn't mean that it doesn't matter. It doesn't mean that it's not important, right? Um, but really thinking of it as a, as a lot of steps in a, in, a, in a process with a specific goal in mind. Um, this is just a step. Absolutely. One of the things that I appreciate about this group and I appreciate about Albert and Andy so much is just letting Crystal Springs Uplands be the best version of themselves. I don't have to explain to you guys who's in your league, who's in your section, who's in the state in, in Division 5, but like just really working on you know, growth and improvement and development within this group. How significant has, uh, has that been you know, in the journey the past couple years and how significant will it be again this year just to be like, we can only control yeah. you know, being the best version of Ben Bowie, Tarek Baker, and yeah. the rest of the group. Right. I mean, yeah, that's, that's kind of the only thing you can do. You can't control the clock. You can't control the weather or the other runners. You know, the only thing you control is your effort and how you compete. And so we try to make it clear. Um, I think it's been made clear to us, and we try to make it clear to all of the underclassmen that are here now. Like, we're not here to, you know, the, the, the goal isn't the PR. The goal is to compete. The goal is to win. Um, and, you know, we go out, we compete, and we fight. And uh, today it was, it was me and Tariq <laughs> at the front, but um, every other day, too. Like, you just you, you have to compete. Right? Absolutely. To that point, uh, I'll let you go first, and then, uh, Ben, I'll let you formulate your response as well. This division is in such a beautiful place. Like, I mean, it's such a blessing to be able to watch both of you guys and the rest of your team compete the same way it is to watch, you know, Anna and the rest of the girls compete. And I don't think people really have a true understanding of just the fact that this is the golden era yeah. of Division 5. Not yeah. just in the Central Coast section and the entire state, right? Because all the people that we know are better versions of themselves and all the people that maybe were, you know, just a little bit under the radar are now right in the spotlight or whatever. Like, as a competitor, 
again, like Ben said, and I love it. Like you can't you can't control the clock, the temperature, but you know, but you know that there's going to be amazing people there. For everybody that graduates, it seems like there's another five yeah. or ten that come yeah. in and say, uh, "We're hungry and it's our time." Like, how, how much does that mean to you as a competitor? Charlie? That means a lot. Like, I mean, even as a senior itself, this being the last year that we're ever going to be running these high school races, knowing that we have such a deep team, knowing that we have such deep competitors, and knowing that that in itself is probably going to pave everybody to run incredibly fast times is great for the sport, great for us, great for the community, great for our, the running culture. It's just amazing to just watch that grow and showcase itself. Awesome, man. Yeah, um, it just hit me that this is my last Rough Rider. It's, <laughs> I know. it's crazy. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean... We knew this would be a nostalgic right. tour, man. Exactly. Right. <laughs> I mean, being a senior is, is different, for sure. Yeah. Um, but it's also been really nice to see some of the underclassmen step up and see them realize that they can be great, set some goals for themselves, and just watch them get really fit. Because um, that's, I don't know, that's just the, that's the great thing about cross country and running in general. Um, you do great individual things as a team. Um, and so, yeah, no, it's awesome to watch, watch them grow, watch the brand new kids who've never run before sort of learn to love it. Um, that, that's, that's honestly the best part of this year for me. Um, it is sad though. This is, <laughs> it's sad that it's the last rough letter, right? I gotcha. Right. Well, once upon a time, it probably would have taken... 1540 or 45 to be all state in division five yeah. it's probably going to take 15 20 or 25 this year uh but there's no two guys uh that are more uh anticipating and relishing that challenge uh than Tarek baker and uh ben Bowie from crystal springs uplands and obviously we we're hoping that the gryphons are uh in pursuit of that third consecutive uh, uh, state championship, uh, it would probably be the most meaningful and significant uh, of, of all of them, uh, not only for these guys as veterans, but obviously knowing how great the division is this year. Uh, stay healthy, and best of luck to you and the team going forward. Thank you so much.